in life we we win and lose. We live and learn. Um, that fight, I wouldn't change the result for anything. That's made me a complete man, a complete person, a complete business person. Um, my business acumen now is better than it's ever been. Um, I've paid my dues. I understand that I've paid my dues. The, the loss actually brings to light everything that I needed to know about the business. I've come full circle. And um, the time for strength, the time for being stronger, the time for being prudent and responsible and not so quick quixotical is now. And it's all come through this loss. So I wouldn't change the loss for anything, even though he used deplorable and, you know, schoolboy tactics to win the fight, which will be his own undoing. The tactics of which he used were not noble. Do you understand? And that's something he'll have to take to his grave. At least if you beat me, beat me fairly and squarely. Don't gorge my face and don't trip me up and don't use a hypnotist. You know, that's, that's just um, poor form. As far as nobility is concerned, it doesn't rate on the scale. The message that he's sending out, that people are taking on board, you know, the Irish children who are going to be looking at Steve Collins and say, well, he beat Chris Eubank. How did he beat Chris Eubank? What tactics did he use? Did he use the correct and fair ones? Did he play by the rules? And the fact is he didn't. He legally cheated. Now I would say to the grassroots coming up, don't legally cheat. I'm going to win ruthlessly. I'm, I will be ruthless with uh, Steve Collins and I haven't been this way in, in a very long time.